my favorite line for you because he had the goat suit on was I'm a goat mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a goat mate, yeah. <laughs> that was improv, wasn't it? Hi, I'm Kristen Maldonado from Pop Culture Planet. It's so great to meet you both. This movie was crazy. I've watched it twice already, and I loved it. Just the blood and the action. It was so much fun. And just like the, the twists and turns, I was not ready. But I wanted to start with you, Famka, and ask you about the character of Hilda. She's so interesting because we kind of get to see both like how people perceive her, but also like who she truly is. And I was wondering if you could talk about what it's like playing a character like her. Yeah, she's definitely a, a very complex, interesting um, creature to me and um, I liked exploring to see how far to take it and you know where to bring the humanity and you know the difference of you know we all have these ideas of villains or people who are just pure evil and you know it's life is just a tad more complicated than that and everyone has layers to them and everyone has an upbringing where they were scarred or whatever they they you know whatever turns them into what they ultimately become and so I wanted to think through who was Hilda, where did she come from, where did that damage come from, and you know how much of that is now someone who really is, I think, mentally ill to a certain extent and can't see reality for what it is anymore and is very lost in, in the world that she's created around her. So that's kind of what I explored through her. And for you, Brett, I mean, the character you're playing is sort of like, Kind of like, I don't know about my family anymore. I, I don't know about what they're doing. And I, I'd love to hear that that side of, of what you explored with your character as well. Um, being in this kind of like legacy that maybe, you know, doesn't kind of quite fit. Yeah, that's uh, that's a, you know, amazing observation. I think when you find my character, it, it's, it sort of lines up with the day that Boy decides to kill everybody. It's kind of the day that my character has decided... I've truly had enough. I think he's reckoning with, I think he's the person in the family that really realizes uh, that they've done some evil things, you know, and that he wishes, wishes his life was different. And so he's really self-destructive and punishing himself for that. But um, yeah, this is the day that he, he just decides I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. And uh, you know, they're my family, but, Ah, <sighs> you know, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. No, I yeah. hear that. And, you know, something I wanted to ask um, is your character is sort of an aspiring writer, and your character in Stranger Things is also a um, an investigative journalist, a, a writer as well. And I was wondering, how do you think each of them would fare in each other's worlds? I don't think that they would uh, like each other very much. <laughs> I think that, uh, yeah, Murray would probably run very far away from Gideon or, you know, get into a thing with Gideon if he had to. Whereas, uh, yeah, Gideon would probably just uh, kill Murray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think they'd be exchanging exchanging notes, you know. They're both narcissists, so, you know. Speaking of, of killing, it's a very bloody movie, which I love, um, but also very funny. I was wondering if you guys had any favorite scenes or even favorite moments on set. It was really fun to be out, like, during the, the when they're rounding people up for the culling, as disturbing as that scene is. It was really cool to just, like, you really saw that that was the biggest set that I was on, and so you saw this massive set design and costume design of all these different people and uh yeah it just um it felt really really alive we're also like in cape town we're in africa and uh it, you could feel africa in that scene to, to a certain degree basically because we were outside mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but it was cool it was like a reminder like wow i'm shooting in south africa this is amazing um not that like how the set looks looks like South Africa, you know, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of Cape Town, but like uh, just uh, getting to work with so you know so many of the of the South Africans are just such amazing people. So getting to be around them too was amazing. Also, I I wasn't part of any fight sequences, but those were out of this world, um, so well choreographed, and the stunt people just watching them work. Yeah, I really that's I really liked yelling at the the actor who was playing me in the scene that Gideon had written. I thought that was really really funny. That was fun. And you know, 
there was a lot of improvised screaming at him. Hi, I'm Kristen Maldonado from Pop Culture Planet. It's so great to meet you guys. There's so many cool fight sequences, so much action. What kind of training went into preparing for this role? Oh. <laughs> Take it away. Um, we, we did a lot of, uh, man, I, I, we did a lot of, Push-ups. Well, yeah, yeah, I don't know. How many pull-ups did you do? I did like 12. 12. 12. Yeah, 13. But, 13 but he, right, yeah. he yeah. always, he had, he had to beat me every single time. Yeah. Sit-ups? Sit-ups, I did I did 12 again. Again, yeah, yeah. He did 14. 13. 14. 14, that's right. Rounded up, yeah. Yeah. Whatever, um, I, whatever he does, I do. Better. One more. One yeah, more. One, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, we, we trained with uh, Dav, Dav, David. David, um, yes. Yeah, we, he did not take it easy on us. Um, actually, he took it easy on me. I, I was pretty easy for me because I, I don't do much action stuff. No. I point a gun. No. Mm -hmm. so. no, no. <laughs> he's, he's never seen action. Yeah. No. Never, no. never before, right? No. 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 <laughs> he runs from it. But, you know, and this yeah. film is also hilarious. So I was wondering what like your favorite scenes to film were. Ooh. I, my favorite scene to film were every every scene that I had with him, which was every scene I had. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> I really appreciate that. I, yeah. Yeah. I, I return the thing. No, Isaiah's oh. amazing. Isaiah's anything that we could do. The Benny Basho. Yeah. Uh, uh, that combo was nice. The combo, yeah. They should have their own spin off film, but that it prequel. Would be I agree. Yeah. Absolutely. Because they, they, yeah, we can't see anything actually. It's a spoiler. It's yeah, like, we don't. Yeah, we're uh, shh. Yeah, yeah. That's God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you guys had such great chemistry as like a team, you know? I, I love the, I think my one of my favorite moments was when we're like, what is the plan? And then it's like, you don't even need to worry. I'm having flashbacks of, of South Africa right now when uh, he, he and I would, would uh, on it, when we weren't working, we'd say the same thing. What's the plan? And, and we just yeah. figured it out. We always make plans. Yeah. We always have to make plans. Absolutely. Plans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then nothing. Benny executes and... <laughs> We do our thing. That's how the resistance is formed. With your character, uh, you have some of the funniest, most nonsensical lines. Um, I wanted to know, was there room for improv there? And like, did you have kind of in the back of your head what you were really saying? No, yeah, I, I just, it was, it was a lot of, a lot of, uh, the writing was, was perfect. Like, like they wrote it perfectly. So I just kind of mumbled my way through it and uh, it, it worked out. But you had a lot of, you had a lot of ideas though. I, yeah, I had uh, some weird stuff, you know. I, I'd bounce them off about off Koji, and, and he'd, he'd say, you know, yes yeah, 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 your neck, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he give me this or that. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew, with, with you, obviously you're a seasoned martial artist, and one of the things that I've been hearing a lot of buzz about that I'm really excited about too is that you're gonna be making your um, your rom com debut very soon. Uh, yeah. Um, what what is it like to go from from something like this to to just a com completely new genre that you that you haven't necessarily stepped in before? No, it's like a big relief because you're not having to do five hours of training every day and and and, and, and hardly eat anything. You're fasting right now, aren't you? Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, I don't no. have to do that. You just eat what you want and you kind of just rock up and try and be charming, which is, this is for someone like me, is incredibly... Easy. Um, yes. Uh, uh, yes uh, <laughs> I mean, nobody knows that about him, that he's a romantic comedian. He's very, very, very I'm, I'm, funny. I'm, 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 go I'm goddamn hilarious. And romantic. And, and, uh, yes. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> oh, too far. Okay. Yeah. What would you say is maybe like the funniest thing that happened on set? Was there anything that you were like, oh my God, I, I couldn't even get through this scene because we were cracking up together? There's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I, um, I, I think, do you know what it was? It was, it was good. It, it, the, 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 the whole Benny stuff, all of his dialogue doesn't work unless you play it absolutely straight. And he did it such a good <laughs> job. We were cracking up a lot because he just played all the. The mumble jumble. Yeah. Do you have so a favorite perfect. line? And, uh, yeah. he, well, I do, but it's his line. Do that uh, for long now. No, no, no. My, my favorite line for you, because he had the goat suit on, was, I'm a goat, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a goat, mate. Yeah. That no, was improv, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. What was it? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant line. Yeah. What did you have a favorite of his gibberish? <laughs> so much. Well, I keep, I just remember Dodo Bumps, Dodo Buns for Long Lamps. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. hilarious. It's, it's for long lamps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for long lamps, of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you actually remember any of the. Uh, something about Turtle Bird. Turtle Bird. Oh, yeah. Turtle, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yanme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yanme. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kristen Maldonado from Pop Culture Planet. This movie is crazy. I've seen it twice already. <laughs> oh, and it was awesome. fun to watch it through the first time and like not know what's going on. And then watch it the second time and be like, oh. Okay, oh, I see all nice. the setup and everything. This is your feature directorial debut. There's so much range. There's so much that you like, kind of like, 
break through? And I was wondering how you found the unique style for this film. Ooh, that's a uh, that's not a five minute question. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is literally the the movie, and I I know like believe me, sort of in the middle of making, it was like we we should have just done something easier, just like just dial it down a notch, just like uh, less less complicated. But yeah, that's what we that's what we did, and that's what we started out with. And this movie is basically a culmination of everything that the writers and the action director and me and the DP that we love, like all the video games, all the the crazy comic books, all the weird ideas. It was basically we sort of created this canvas for for people to, as we put it, let let their freak flags fly. And it was like the the production designer Mike Burke was like, it's like yeah, sure, make that pirate ship pink. Make it pink and purple. This is great. Uh, put glitter everywhere. Uh, this is amazing. Let's go. It's like neon fever dream, but then all the blood. It's awesome. <laughs> um, but there's yeah. also like this like great heart to it as well. Like I love the that sort of like core of like a brother sister bond. You know that that sibling bond that's really like prevalent throughout the movie. I was wondering if you could speak to that. Yeah, like uh, we knew it would be crazy, and we knew we had to root it in a genuine emotion and a genuine relationship so it was always like i these movies need a heart if they don't need a heart they feel hollow and then just like unsatisfying mm -hmm. and uh i'm in that regard i'm a big softy also so it's, <laughs> that's that's why the ending is the ending and that's why uh the movie's that movie what was your favorite thing to film and also what was like the most challenging thing to film this is gonna sound stupid but i love it there's this tiny little in the in the flashback there's this tiny little uh commercial for the frosty puffs and it's just like the frosty puffs figures just throwing blue rings at each other and it was like a 20 minute setup and it was like all right you throw that ring at him and then you you do this and it was like just like oh that is fun there's like low pressure and just after like four weeks of craziness and insanity of shooting it was just like 20 minutes for me to just watch and enjoy this and uh that was my favorite thing to shoot mm -hmm. because it was so easy um and for sure the action sequences uh dave didn't hold back and uh made his life his own life a living hell with those uh with his the way he wanted to shoot this and uh, I think it paid off but yeah those were very very hard to shoot and uh, took a lot of co team coordination and effort. There's also a lot of really cool flashback moments um, and you kind of play with memory and family. I was wondering like how hard is it to set up those kinds of moments? There's a lot of work in the editing where you look at it and uh, you're like we, we at one point we flipped two scenes completely and it was like oh let's do, shoot Let's show this before this. And in the script, it was the other way around. But when we did it, it was like, why didn't we write it that way? That way makes way more sense. So, um, yeah, that's the, it's mostly with these, with flashbacks, it is a lot of editing. It made me want to, like, learn even more about this world because it's so, like, rich and crazy. You. Do you ever see yourself, like, coming back and, and maybe continuing on this story in a, a grander scheme? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it all depends. Like, we could do sequels, prequels, spin-offs. Uh, there is a lot of thinking, and I think there's so many great characters in there that I'd love to follow up on. So I'm completely open to that, and I think it all depends on where the uh, what happens in the next few months, weeks with this movie. I want to thank you so much for your time. And Absolutely. That, thank that you so much. That ending just shook me to my core. I was not expecting it. Consider subscribing if you like my videos. And if you want to talk more TV and movies with me outside of the comments section, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash kmaldo. If you like this one, you can check out more of my videos right over here. See ya.